Now we're continuing along after we've created our levels. Now we want to add in our grid lines. You'll notice that as I'm working through here, we have our project, Arch Project 1, and each lesson, L1, L2, Lesson 1, Lesson 2, Lesson 3, what, what I'm going to do is at the end of each lesson, I'll do a save as, and we'll save it as the next lesson. So if you want to start partway through the project, you can just open up the particular project associated to that particular lesson. So L here means lesson three, uh, which is the lesson that we're in. So we're gonna draw some grid lines. We're gonna notice that our um, elevation views are gonna be um, off and we're just gonna have to fix that in our next lesson. So this is kind of our lower left corner. So we've got our building. We know our building is about, you know, 40 meters by 30 meters by 20 by 20. So I'm going to um, draw that out. And we'll, when we dimension it, we'll put some imperial units on there as well. So you'll be able to kind of make sense of uh, if you're using uh, feet and inches instead of metric. But for now, we're just going to continue um, using metric. We're on our main floor. It's important that we get our levels made first because the grid lines will extend from the highest to the lowest level. If we don't, we have to go back and stretch them later. So let's draw some grid lines. Grid line. Now, can I snap to that point? Yes, I can. I can snap to there and I can drag up. And I know that, you know, I'm not even sure, you know, graphically, I can't really tell how far that is. It's not giving me a dimension. So I'm just going to click on there. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to have, basically, I'm going to have uh, four and use your shift key to keep them straight. Okay, line them up. I'm going to have four grid lines using my shift key going this way. And I'm going to have three grid lines going this way. One, two, and three. If you get one wrong uh, and it goes off, just hit escape. Click on here and hit your delete on your keyboard and draw it again. I'm just going to do an undo. Now I'm going to pick on here. I'm going to zoom in here. Pan down, grab that 3D uh, control point, drag it up. Okay, now I'm going to add some dimensions on here. So I'm going to go through and say, okay, add some dimensions. So I know that from here to here to here to here. And then I'm going to just wiggle, wiggle, and pick up there. So I don't want grid line 1 to move, and I don't want grid line 5 to move. We're going to rename the grid lines after. So let's go down, and this needs to be... Um, 20 meters. So what is it now? It's 1900 millimeters. So I'm going to click on here and say you are 20. I'm going to say M for meters, 20 meters. See how I did that? This is also 20 meters. Pick on here, 20 M for meters. Click on there. Click out. And the last one is going to be 30 meters. So we pick on here and change this to be 30 M. Enter. That's the, the garage part of the structure. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to drag these down. I'm going to use my middle mouse button with my middle finger and drag it over to here. Now I'm going to do a dimension from here to here to here. Wiggle, wiggle, place it. Okay. I'm going to hit modify to stop that. Click on my grid line, zoom in, grab that grip. Again, using my next, my other middle finger, I can zoom out and let go, click out. Okay, so again, I don't want grid line 5 to move. So I'm going to pick on here and change this to be, I believe, 20 meters. 20 M, enter. Nice round numbers here. And pick on the top grid line, not the dimension, and pick in the blue dimension, 20 M for meters. Click out, done. Okay, so that's kind of, I'm going to pick on here, grab this, stretch it up. See how I did that? Escape, escape. Now I know my elevations are in the wrong place. I'm going to do a window box to select this. Using my shift and arrow key, I'm going to nudge that up and to the right. Okay, do a window box. Using my arrow key and a shift key, nudge it up and to the right. Grab this guy with the crossing box, shift, arrow key, nudge, nudge, little nudges with an arrow key, big nudges with the shift arrow key. Shift, nudge, 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 nudge. So a little bit of nudging going on. 
Now let's rename our grid lines. So I don't mind the one, two, three, four across the top, but I want this to be A, B, C that way. So let's start on here, pick on here, pick the seven, caps on A, click out. Pan down, pick, click, B, click, done. Click on here, click, C, click, click. Okay, and I'm at one to 100, not too bad. Okay, I should probably throw this on a sheet at some point, nudging that over. Okay, and out. So there's our grid line set up, and we will uh, at some point take these dimensions uh, in the near future and also put the imperial version in there, maybe in our next lesson. And the last thing I need to do here is to do my save as and, and call this lesson four. So the next one will be ready to go. File, save as, project. And in here, I'm going to change this to say lesson four, L4, save. And then when you jump in later, you can use that L4 uh, to do our next lesson.